today we're going to Pella. Uh, Pella is a small uh, locality which is just near Rainbow in Western Victoria. Uh, Rainbow is still a town, uh, it's quite a large town uh, with a thriving community. Now Pella is about 10 k's out and like many towns that were established in the days of, uh, of settlement of the area when farming uh, first came to the region, it was probably a, a lot bigger town or would have had a, well, it's got a church and uh, various other things. But at the moment, or these days, it's more just a locality. But anyway, at Pella, uh, there's this church and it has an organ in it. Uh, so we're gonna go up and check out this organ. Now to get to Rainbow and then to Pella, uh, you head towards Adelaide on the Western Highway and you go past Dimboola, and Dimboola has, well, three entrances, so you go past the three of them, a little desert national park. So that's entrance one. Okay, that's entrance two to Dimboola, which has uh, our local cell tower up there, and also the opposite side, that'll take you to Warwickneville Nabil on the Borang Highway. Now the third entrance to Dimbola, uh, which is on the more on the Adelaide side of things, is just over a railway overpass. And opposite the Dimbola entry is the road to Rainbow, which is where we're heading right now. So, visiting a church and looking at an organ, that doesn't sound very interesting. Well, this church is a little bit different. Um, the organ that, that is there is not just some 1970s Hammond organ that's been kept in excellent condition. Uh, this church houses a 19th century pipe organ. Coming into Rainbow, over the railway line here, got to stop, look for trains, even though I think maybe one, maybe none, ran on it this year, or last year. So we'll go into Rainbow, and then head out to Pella. And this is the main street of Rainbow, and to signify that, they've got a rainbow. Looky, looky. From Rainbow, uh, we head up Bow Street, uh, which then turns into what's called the Rainbow Rises Road, which is this one here, but it's actually called the Amy Johnson Highway. So you can pick any of three of those names and uh, ask a local and they'll tell you where to go. But this essentially heads uh, west out of Rainbow at the top end. Okay, we're just at the uh, bridge going over Outlet Creek. 
and just around the corner should be the entrance to the road that then leads off and takes us to the Pella Church. So we'll chuck a right here. So here we are at uh, St John's Lutheran Church at Pella and uh, a local fellow, Ross Heinrich, has kindly come out because he has the key and he's going to let us in and show us around. So we'll have a look. Hello Ross, how are you going? Thank you. Okay, so this is the inside of the Pella Church. Um, this is the front where the minister stands. And um, they still hold uh, congregation here, and they do alternate between here and Rainbow every second week. So one week here, then the following week they have it in Rainbow. So the church still gets uh, quite a bit of use. The subject we came to see, the pipe organ, is right here. There's the grand pipe organ. Now this uh, organ was originally in the Congregational Church uh, in, in South Melbourne, uh, somewhere in Albert Park, and that uh, church closed down or finished in 1969, uh, and then the, this organ was then moved from that location up to here at Pella in 1970 by, this, by Ross himself, who brought it up on the back of a truck, and when he arrived there, they weren't too impressed with the fact that he'd come with an open truck, but Ross said it's that... Uh, it took him six weeks to, re to put it back together again after, after we put it, put it up here. So there you go. It wasn't into one piece or anything. Goodness. And, uh, but luckily enough for Ross, the, the, there was no rain, the weather was quite fair, so uh, the organ made it up here without getting any damage whatsoever. Let's see. So there you go. So there's the uh, the Pella organ, which was the built in 1885. The Pella Fuller organ. <laughs> 